2 minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're more than 30 seconds into flight. Telemetry showing 33 out of 33 engines as it's pitching down range. Booster, chip, avionics power, telemetry nominal. Here are good call outs on the ship and booster avionics. You just heard the rumble hitting us about six miles away. Watching Starship arc into just endless blue skies right now. Vehicle supersonic. More than a minute into flight, the vehicle supersonic. Max Q. So we just passed through Max Q. That's the greatest stress the vehicle is going to experience on the way uphill. Reminder that all of our teams down here on the ground are now looking at systems on the tower, they just did a manual check through. That's going to inform that manual flight director's decision. Next moment coming up, though, is going to be hot staging. Don't take your eyes off it. It's one heck of a light show. What a gorgeous ascent. Six ship engines getting ready to ignite. That's going to happen while we're still attached. We can still see the ship's engines from the ground. Got a little under 30 seconds away from that. We are hearing good call outs on the tower preparedness from the manual checks. Reminder though, we've still got automated checkouts on the booster and the ship itself. But as of right now, our manual checks and our manual commanding is Looking go go for a catch. Booster engine cutoff. That is incredible news. We just heard the call out for booster uh, right, engine BK. cutoff. Engine startup. Most engines cut off down to those Stage middle separate. three. Booster press startup. All right, hot stage Shift confirmed. Chamber, We've got nominal. a booster hopefully on our way back to us and a ship now making its ascent burn into space. How's it going in Hawthorne, Jesse? It's great over here. You can hear the crowd screaming for every milestone. Uh, the booster is now making its way back down to Earth. Looks like we have 12 of those 13 engines uh, ignited. Uh, we're using the engines that actually gimbal. We so are go for booster return. An excellent call out there. We are go for booster Ship return. Ship avionics, power and telemetry nominal. There's a lot of criteria that needed to line up to ensure that we could have a Respect safe burn shutdown. a safe booster catch. And it sounds like we got the go for that. And there you can see on your screen, we had the, uh, we just jettisoned the hot stage. And there's a great, excellent view there of the hot stage floating away from the super heavy booster. Now we've shut down the engines for that boost back burn. That confirms boost back burn is now complete. That was the first of two burns required to for the vehicle to make its way back down to Earth. And next coming up will be the landing burn. That's going to be 13 of those center engines igniting again. Uh, and that will then go down to, from 13, down to three engines just right before we touch down for that booster catch. Now, reminder, our stage one objectives are to have a controlled ascent uh, stage separation as well as a controlled boost back burn and hot stage 
um, as well. So we're looking good for that so far. Some great views there from the ship of Earth. That looks incredible. <laughs> Now, Starship's ship is still firing its engines right now. Starship trajectory nominal. And great call-outs. Starship trajectory is nominal. You can follow along the telemetry, the altitude, uh, in the bottom left-hand corner for the super heavy booster, as well as the bottom right-hand corner for the ship. And these views are just amazing. Again, the booster is currently making its way back to the tower today. So we're looking forward to a booster catch with the chopsticks. And in the meantime, you can see those grid fins there helping to control the vehicle and guide it back to its landing site. Booster FTS is saved. Now with that, we're gonna hand it back. How's it going over there, Dan and Kate? How are you doing, Kate, seeing that in person? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Dan had to take that entire segment because I couldn't talk. That was there, incredible. There it is. We can see the booster coming back in now through the plume. At least it looks that way to us. Um, it's incredible that it basically returns. It looks like a speeding, um, just like Ship this chamber silver nominal. flare uh, coming back to the, the, once again, we are standing by for uh, 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 attempting to catch the booster at the tower. This would be the second tower catch. Booster landing, landing burn. See it, 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Get down ready to, for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for trip out. Megadora has caught the booster. You heard it here, Vexilla has caught the booster. Once again, for the second time, a successful catch by the launch tower. This is the same tower, the launch pad, where that booster took off from just seven and a half minutes ago. Great view from the well chopstick arms looking at those hypersonic grid fins that steer the booster for that precision landing. And it I almost mean, looks like can, it's flapping its wings. Yeah, you can <laughs> see just how small that catch fitting is, too, on something that's just so massive. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> Meanwhile. We're not done, but wait, we're not there's done more. Yet. <laughs> wow, that is just absolutely stunning. And this, of course, uh, a gorgeous view there from the tower looking down at the top of the booster. All right, and we are tracking. Now we're standing by for um, views from the ship, but who can take their eyes off of that incredible sight? That is once again the second catch of a booster back at the launch tower. Uh, it was incredible to see it come back down, uh, just the, the silver flare in the sky. Uh, and we can still see the launch plume behind us. And wow, that we, we, uh, we definitely, uh, I, I can't speak for you, Dan, but uh, that was very moving for me. Yeah, uh, and right now you can see some of the telemetry on those ship engines has gone out and we're waiting for an update on what our ship status is. We were approaching uh, that ship engine cutoff time. Um, so just, just waiting to hear. So obviously we've got booster back, booster on the launch tower in the chopstick arms, uh, but we are waiting to get an update now on the ship as we were we were expecting ship engine cut off about 40 seconds ago we saw some of those engines start to go out prior to that point and so right now we are we are just standing by to try and 
get the latest word on where we are with ships. So stick with us for just a couple of minutes as we wait to hear some updates. Now, if you just recently joined us, uh, you might want to hit rewind and go back about nine, 10 minutes ago to when Starship lifted off uh, from the launch tower that you see there. Um, we had a gorgeous ascent uh, followed by a stage separation where the ship separated from the super heavy booster. The booster performed a flip maneuver and returned back to the Gulf Coast here. There you can see it on your screen. Uh, obviously a successful catch back at the launch tower Hour, uh, which is something that we were all hoping to see and really couldn't ask for a more beautiful background with those blue skies uh, and blue water there. Uh, as Dan said, we are standing by for an update on the ship um, that had ignited its engines and started making its way uh, up to space. So uh, standing by for more info on that. But wow, what what an experience to see that take off uh, and for that booster to come back. Uh, you can see it there up close on your screen to the, the place that it launched from. Uh, once again, there were thousands of uh, catch commit criteria, uh, which is basically just all the things that we have to assess and evaluate and basically make sure that they are um, make sure that everything is clear and acceptable conditions, both on the vehicle side uh, as well as the tower side in order to enable that catch. So um, obviously from the last two flights that we have done where uh, the uh, flight six we attempted but had to divert into the ocean and then on flight five we did have the first ever successful catch of the booster. We used the learnings of those two flights to hone in that catch commit criteria um, and we saw success today which is uh, pretty awesome. And just a quick status check. So we're, we currently do not have comms uh, with the ship so uh, trying to figure out exactly when that happened and exactly what happened. So obviously the flight controllers right now uh, going through their data, uh, looking to make sure it's not anything instrumentation on the ship, but actually uh, try and get us a status. So again, we're gonna we're gonna keep listening in on this. We'll give you an update as soon as we have a little bit more. So for now, stage one, back in the tower, waiting to find out a little bit more about stage two. So if you are just tuning in, we caught a booster, uh, but we are still waiting to find out a little bit more uh, on the ship. So it had successfully separated. We did that hot staging maneuver. We did see all six of ship's engines on the way uphill during its ascent. But as we were getting to the end of that ascent burn, we saw engines dropping out on telemetry and we have since lost contact with the ship. So again, we're still listening in on the loops, trying to figure out how much we can get right now. Uh, but st again, stick with us. We'll bring you updates as soon as we hear them. Uh, really exciting. We were able to catch the booster today. Uh, obviously, we want to get the ship all the way over to the Indian Ocean. Um, may not be able to do that at this point, but we'll give you some updates yeah. as soon as we hear a little bit more about the ship. Uh, for those that didn't catch uh, earlier, this was a, uh, a new version of the ship. This was its debut flight. Um, so a lot of learnings here for sure um, as we continue to tune in and, and listen in with the teams and try to gather more information uh, to understand uh, where we stand with the ship. But um, as Dan mentioned before, teams are trying to make sure uh, that it's not an instrumentation error. Uh, we want to find out if it's, you 
you know, did we just lose communication or, um, or did something else happen with the ship? So teams are actively working, trying to figure out uh, what we can, um, what we can find out, and uh, we're continuing to listen in and uh, find out more information to share as we can.